Honestly, eight times out of 10, the problem with reactivity that people have with their dog is this problem right here. Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's canine educator. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all are doing very, very well. Today, you guys, we have a year and a half year old intact Doberman Pinscher. This dog owner came from about five hours away in Buffalo to work with us. She has worked with several other trainers trying to do different things to get this dog's leash reactivity under control. We're gonna be going over the difference between leash reactivity and dog aggression. So many of you ask me all the time, why does my dog react in the leash when my dog isn't aggressive? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over all of that. This dog is a big mush. He is an absolute pleasure. He's a sweetheart to work with, but he has a big reactivity issue on the leash. So we're gonna go over all the steps on how to counteract it, how to program the dog to understand that he doesn't have to act this way. We're gonna ensure that the dog owner also knows how to handle these situations, building confidence on the leash, building a better relationship. I love this session. I hope you guys do. Two, if you haven't yet, do not forget, like this video, absolutely crush that subscribe button. We put videos like this out every single week and let's get into the video, guys. Surprisingly, you know what's gonna happen. This is where he got Okay. Hey. I just wanna handle him really quick. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing is, is he he's like, He's all over the place. Leave it. Leave it. Good. He's all over the place. There's a, he's like really running the show here. So that's why he's reactive. He's very like, screw you and screw you. And he's like, and then and like, he's really like this type of behavior. You got to hit it head on because he's literally just doing whatever he wants to do. And you as a parent, you know, it's just like with kids and, and human behavior where they're like, you know, running and they're kicking people in the shins and they're knocking stuff all over the shelves and they're taking stuff and they're throwing it. You can't just like keep going on. You have to, that's why it's continuing and getting a little bit worse as it, as it goes. So you see how much different we are, like, you know, almost immediately. So that's what I want from you, okay? He's like a kid in a candy shop right now. He's like, hell yeah, all these people to fight, you know, type thing. So we just gotta get his attention. Heel. Good boy, uh-uh, sit. He's looking, for, do you use food with him? Yeah. I don't try to drag food out in like the immediate uh, first 10 minutes because if I reward him with food now, I'd have no leverage in the future if I really wanted to pay him for do something really good. Because if I got food out, he would just be hounding me for food and I, I want to create like a more organic relationship with him and develop a little bit of respect. You know, if you have a kid that's like doing all the bad stuff and then somebody comes in and like gives him three iPads, as soon as the, the iPads die, you still have a problem. So I want to like fix it, say, hey, 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 like knock it off, chill out. But why? This is why you're doing a really good job. Here's your iPad. And he's like, oh, cool. That was awesome. So I'm going to come out. Kane, heal. Yes. Heal. Good. Heal. Good. Good. Good man. Good job, Kane. So I'm going to let him smell Hawk through my hand. So I come over here and I say, this is Hawk. This is Kane. Yes. Good boy. Heel. Good. Ah, ah. Sit. Good man. We're getting a reaction, which means there's an equation that's coming together. Mentos and Coca-Cola are those two separate. And then you combine them and it has a reaction. So whatever equation makes him react, we have to figure out. Now I'm going to do a little bit of engagement. Okay. So are we reactive pretty much to all dogs? Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Come on. So I'm just doing some engagement stuff with them. Good. Sit. Yes, buddy. Good man. I want to switch really quick and get another dog out. Coda. Touch. Heel. Good. So if he barks, I'm just going to give him that quick pop on the collar. You have two different options really in these types of situations. He knows better for sure. So I either let him take a advantage of me and just bark and be a fool and make everything stressful or I just correct him really quickly. Good, go touch. Good man, okay, break. Good job, buddy. Good job, that was very good. So just positive reinforcement verbally. Now the real work starts with you because that's where the reactivity is happening. Because with me, he tried it and I was like, no dude. And he's like, okay fine. I played with him. He's like, oh, this is fun. Got some other dogs out and he's like, hey, what, who's that? Oh, cool. So, so the reaction isn't with me. It's, it's with you. So what is making him reactive with you? Like a lot of dog owners have that problem and we're going to define it down and make it the best we can. 
So see how, see how like right there, do it, do it again, there. Yeah. So the reason why he's mostly reactive is because he feels A, that he can do it without consequences and B, he feels like he's got to, you know, not necessarily protect you, but just be like, hey, I'm here, you know, we're, we're together. When you had him here, he was here. So when we're talking about healing, like his paws are in front of your paws, right? You don't want that. And that's why the heel command is the heel command is he should, he should be here at your heels. Honestly, eight times out of 10, the problem with reactivity that people have with their dog is this problem right here. He is in front of you. So if he's there, then he's making decisions. Like this, this is spiraling out of control because he's in charge. Look how much leverage he has. I'm at his hips. So he's got his front here and he's got his head and he's doing this. Good. So I'm gonna use the prong collar to just keep him at a good distance. Heel. This is your relationship with your dog. Your prong collar is kind of like the conversational piece of, hey, you know, pay attention. Because he's an animal, so he's in here and he's like all over the place and you need to be able to get his attention. It's extremely hard. So you're not doing anything wrong. You just have to practice it. So here's what I want you to do. People with leash reactivity and people that have problem with their dogs pulling, I say, where's your heel at? So if you're having behavioral problems on the leash, but you can't get your dog to heal from A to B, that's where you start. Don't worry about the behavior. You can't even get, you know, gonna make sure our Herm Springer is high and tight. You wanna have control over the ship, if you will. I want you to work on your you, okay? So shoulders are straight and we're looking ahead. So I want you to just practice. I'm gonna give you this leash with no dog on it. And I want you to practice walking from A to B without a dog first and see how you do. And then I want you to heal. So there, so right there, see how much pressure you have? Yeah, there, now, good. Perfect, perfect. See how your shoulders are straight and you're, you're not paying attention to the leash because there's nothing there, it's a little easier, right? That's how I want you to act with him. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, slow down a little bit. Good, nice job. Okay, so one, the only other thing I would add to that mix was uh, just, do, just do a little bit of verbal uh, positive reinforcement, okay? Not too much, because he's the type of dog like most dobies that are like, I did it, yeah. and then they fly and you're like, okay, never mind, that was too much. So when you're just healing, good heal, not good heal, right? That was very good. Now we're gonna test it, we're gonna bring another dog out. This particular dog, every dog reacts to. It's the dog everyone reacts to, so just want you to work on your healing back and forth. Leave it. Like, you know, you drove five hours to, to work on this. And this is something that, you know, is, is really, you're, you're struggling with. And so it's so worth it to just hit a button and just vibrate, just feel it really quick. So just go ahead. Yep. So it's intense. Yeah. Um, it's obviously just a vibrate. So it's just, heal. Good. That was the vibrate. Heal, leave it. Stop right there for a second. Heel, good. Heel, good, good. Okay, come back. So this is just like your cell phone vibrate, except way more intense. So this is the dog trick to EDC. So make sure you only use it if he reacts. Good heel. Just slide right by. Good heel. Good, good. Okay, go ahead and keep healing. What a difference. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's nice, right? Yes, yeah, so much nicer. <laughs> so stop for a second. Good, this unit is a game changer for behavior mod. Because the dog does all this stuff and then brrr, I've had some really serious cases um, where dogs have been really bad and big and bad, like to the point where like, this is it. If we can't figure this out, we're gonna have to you know, get rid of the dog or something. This little thing coming in and just go brrr, and the dog goes, I hate that. And you go, listen, here's the thing. Every time you do that, 
this is gonna happen. And I've done it time and it works really nicely. I know a lot of you guys deal with leash reactivity and working on aggression and trying to figure out as much as you possibly can about dogs, which is my passion. I'm gonna leave a bunch of different links in the description below. We're really similar videos that are very similar to this. If you enjoyed this video, if you need help progressing or if you want more insight or if you just want some more entertainment, I'll leave some of those videos in the description below as well as you guys saw them throughout the video on the cards and so on and so forth. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't yet, do not forget, kick that like button, smash that subscribe button. I talk to you next time. Peace.